Hello everyone, Digfic here, and welcome back to some more Horizon Zero Dawn. We left off exploring... Everyone just talks to themselves in this village to interrupt things. We left off, finally coming into Meridian and exploring. And there's still two more vendors I have not checked out, so we are going to do that real quick. He is one I did check out. Have you been running the right direction? No. The answer is no. Because it doesn't show your flags on your... Minimap, I guess we can call that your radar up top. It just shows them on your hood. You look kind of cool. What you got? You are just selling lenses. Do you go up to purple lenses? No, you don't. So, are there purple lenses, or is it just blue ones? Ah, there are blue ones. For whatever reason, in my brain there was purples. Every single green and blue gets sold. They're all garbage. Even that one that had a bunch of stats on it and actually didn't seem too bad, but I've just farmed so much for this early in the game. I need to sell more. It's just getting harder and harder to decide what to sell. At this point, I just play out of habit. I started working on cosmetic builds to keep it fresh, but I think that's just a temporary fix. Yeah, I don't know. The whole dev cycle of that game has really just rubbed me the wrong way, to be totally honest. The, the sweeping radical changes, I think, are needed. But in a game where you spend and invest so much time in farming gear for them to so often make all of your past gear irrelevant, just like no thanks and it's not even like wow where they make it irrelevant and then add a bunch of content on top of making your gear irrelevant so you're like yeah fine i'll play through that they're just like and all your shit's irrelevant like oh cool and then you have to play through the same content just to re-gear just a big old nope plus my entire life i've never been able to just play one game like that over and over again non-stop the tier. The story is so bad that I hate doing a playthrough of it. I couldn't even say better words myself. Just flat out. Worst story I've played in the game in a long time. Long, long time. Okay. Done doing a little bit of inventory management. Um got one more vendor to check out on the scene. Is there a moment to speak of the finer things? Yes, what I could. You, want to talk about? you probably you want the no flowers. Writer, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. If you're gonna give me more loot boxes, you said lazy you were an development. Adventurer. Just so, the nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went, with bow and spear. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. So what happened? Love happened, my sweet. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Of course. Freedom is sweet. But the embrace of my beautiful Theridine is sweeter still. I do love my wife. but I, It does change the way you think about life and the risks you're willing to take and fun things you give up. But the fun things risk your life. But These metal flowers, what are they exactly? Death, so. No one knows, but some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? 20 years ago. Hmm. Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next. Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. What an elegant way ah, to think of it. Let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. I have another reward box, and I bet you're going to be a box.
Times 10 metal flower mark one. I guess I didn't think I've gathered that many. If this is just another loot box full of loot boxes, I'm not Till we totally meet again, disappointed. my noble Nora. Everyone Thank needs you. a splash of color in their lives. Come, sleep. let's not talk it over. Like oh, we already did talk it over. Should have a yes or no box check somewhere in there. Zeros and ones to know if we've already talked over it or not. Hey, a thing. Okay, let's see what fancy treasure his box holds. Oh, I mean, I like his thousand metal shards. I like that it just gives me two modifications, but then just the more boxes. I don't need more boxes of modifications. I also don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's take them all. It also doesn't tell you what are new modifications, and I really wasn't paying attention at which ones it gave me. Nothing is jumping out at me as being particularly fancy. Ooh. Race car driving? I wouldn't call it race car driving, but I did have a relatively fast car that I may or may not have used to drive a lot slower. I do have a thousand cc sport bike, which has almost killed me once, missing a few days of my life, and I do not, I'm just not as crazy anymore. Um, skiing, I used to do a lot more train park stuff, a lot more everything. I, I'm a speed freak. Love speed. Um, Runs in the family, I guess. My mother's like favorite activity in the world is skydiving. I still want to do that more. Just, you know, action adventure life. But that also slowly dies down with age and stuff, you know? It's not just a wife, but... You just, you think about things a little bit different when you get a wife and other loved ones in a family that... It starts to matter more what happens to you to more than just you. Do less stupid. Everyone needs a splash Which, for of For most people, it's probably a good thing. But well, at the same time, talk it over. doing stupid is very fun and very exhilarating. This is the hunter's lodge. You need lodge. to win three half sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well then. Congratulations and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk? Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs, present yourself to the sun hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. Oh, I mean, I'll answer your question in a second here. But first off, did I just walk up to this guy, take out my bag of full suns, and just dump them on the ground? Here's all my blazing suns. Fuck your half suns. Most of them are first try too, because I'm epic. Um, like, and just shrug this guy off. But as for your questions, um, you probably answered this a million times. How did you come up with your name also? Is your mascot a fig, LOL? Well, I don't actually get asked this as much as you would think. My name came from when I was a young child, probably middle school. I was digging a fish pond in my friend's backyard with my best friends at the time, and we were eating Fig Newtons, and somehow I said dig fig. I don't have the exact specifics. And it just kind of became became my name, became a gamer tag. I started using it. Um, I know back then, a lot of consoles, you couldn't choose your name. So it was mostly for online stuff like AOL Instant Messenger and stuff like that. It's like my Xbox name was Enchilada because it was assigned to you when you got your Xbox. Um, and the mascot is actually a Fig Newton, now that you know by that story. And he's got the shovel to represent on his back usually or somewhere in all my depictions of him, there's a shovel. Not in the emojis, though. So, just a little homage to where it came from. And, uh, that's my mascot. 
I do get... People think it's a fig or ask if it's a fig a lot. But figs don't look like that. I don't actually know what a fig looks like. Read the car, Joe. I'm just kind of wandering around instead of finding the guy we need to talk to here. Um, you I need to talk to. So what kind of personality is this guy going to have? Because I was warned. Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the savage lands. The sacred land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Savage. Huh. Tell me. Do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that Depends. is what you're doing right now. Stinking up our lodge, oh, pestering. This is the bed. warning. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. Yes. That would be true if there were any chance of you hates becoming me, hates a member. Hates me, hates Nora's. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. Oh. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a Hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. What a dick. I mean, if the rules in this universe were you could just slap the motherfucker with a glove and throw down, I'd be all game for that. I would do that. This dude. Man. Whoop your ass for your intelligence, you son of a bitch. What? What is your problem, dude? Damn, I really wanted to stand exactly where I was standing, and it's uncalled for. But I mean, if everyone thinks I'm a savage here, but it's like kind of weird for them to call me a savage when you're in a whole entire lodge of hunters and hunting itself in this means is kind of a savage thing to do. It's fine though. A whole bunch of damn spears and like a war hammer. Looks like a whole bunch of Nora spears. Because it's the feathers. Like, they match my spear. Or they just reused my spear asset and added bits to it. But for thinking we're savages, they sure do have a lot of our weapons. And their bows? Hmm. I don't know. They're being a little iffy here with calling me a savage. It's like, damn it, they're savages, but they really do make the best shit. Are you a Nora? That why I sent me to you? No. Kind of looks sort of Norish, the armor. You're Talana? Asi said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay. I've dealt with worse. Mm. I'll bet you yeah, have. I don't know who hunts with the Warhammer. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. Today? What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. It cuts through trees, rocks, people. I mean, I'd fight it. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Hunting. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. Oh. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk. Then no one can deny you brought it down. Yeah. Okay. Assist. What's his story? He's the Sun Hawk of the Lodge. The highest ranking asshole. Sorry, member. He's taken <laughs> down Ravagers, assholes. Stalkers, Behemoths. Me too. So, I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. That's it? But, he's a Hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever Hawk defeats the greatest machine first, becomes the Sun Hawk. They're gonna want me to become the hawk. I know, cause I'm gonna go get that thunder jaw, rip its fucking face off. But other people haven't seen the underground thing before, and I killed one of those. So if I took a trophy, would that make me the hawk now? Question How mark? does one become a hawk? She when just explained a hawk it. Dies, his thrush is promoted in his place, no matter how anyone feels about it.
So you have to become a sponsor, then die. Wait for your... So just get the guy above you killed, then you become a hawk. Right, but then I'm thinking about that whole Warhammer comment. Because Indy Taco asked, who hunts with a Warhammer? I mean... It tenderizes your meat for you. Also, like... I guess if you're fighting machines, it's a little bit different of a story. A lot of them are armored, but you usually use a Warhammer to do blunt force trauma underneath hard armor. So I don't know. I don't think you could do that to machines, really, unless you can shatter their components underneath the armor and stuff. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the Lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all of us kills and drink the bar dry. Also, her face thing. How is the bottom loop staying good? Should I glue it to her chin? Because I don't see any more ropes that come down from the bottom. It should be hanging there. And also, that would just be so uncomfortable to wear all the time, right? Because I think most people are figuring out with, like, masks I'm ready for to COVID. Hunt. That would so just be... Me. What do I have to do? Do you want them to though? regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, That's it. you'll sponsor me. I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil. I farm behemoths, thunderjaws, and shit just for fun. That's all you want me to kill? It's two sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker? Where is it telling me to go? Just, just a giant stack of icons out here. Oh, that's one option you made there, UI. I think that means 100 bits. Yeah, thank you very much, Nitako. I really do appreciate that. It means a lot. Um, now, I didn't start my timer for this episode. So, I don't actually know how long I've been doing this episode. It's problematic. By alt tab, shit breaks. But we're gonna go do this Hunter Lodge quest, I guess. No reason not to. We will we travel out here and take on these Ravengers. In the meantime, I'll alt tab check my timer. It is two minutes. Kind of unfortunate. Let's get a little fox icon. Also liked your uh, emoji for the, uh, the little taco. We are this is a way. Even though the timer says two minutes, yeah, we can do these rapture kills. There's no reason not to. This shouldn't be that hard as a full fire build. Should be able to just kinda like raffle stomp these guys. Oh. I mean I can raffle stomp anything I've come across so far. Except for that ground thing. If I have to fight that ground thing. Again. Like, actually at this level, not using train as exploits and stuff. Should you guys stop fucking with my kills? Oh, this is this is a whole convoy going on here. Okay, we're gonna get creative. Okay, that's embarrassing. I'm focused way too hard on other things. Back to fire, I guess I'll just focus on you guys for now. I want to call Shenan. Well, you talk all this shit about how you can raffle stomp easily. No, no contest, and then you get your shit pushed in. That's the first time I've died to them. Touche. Now, well, leads to karma right there. Take two. I'm not far from Red Ridge I got Pass. totally thrown off Maybe my game by that being a AI, like a three-way fight between AI, the Thunder Jaws, and the Caravan thing. I don't even know the name for those things. So, now when there isn't all this crazy chaotic shit going on here, we just do this. And then they can't, like, they don't even know what to do about you. Like, fire stealth build, OP. It's just like, wait a minute, a second ago I wasn't on fire, and now I'm on fire. What was that, buddy? I don't know, do you know? I don't think you know. I'll knock life for you. 
One down. To the trophy. Yeah, okay. I see your existence. I don't like your existence. Why do these have no effect on you? Like, literally no effect at all. It really wasn't meant for you, buddy. They're scanning for me. Yeah, I'm sure they are. I mean, I know your weakness. I just don't want to use this stuff on you. There goes all your arms. There goes all your arms. You're basically just dead water. Dead wheat. Dead water makes zero sense. Dodge through you. Stick you to blow off all your bits. So, whoa, why didn't... Oh, that was the wrong type of arrow. That's fine. Now's my chance. There's all your bits. Where is this guy's corpse? I'm just here for you. Thank you. Good day. You guys can go about finding a place to repair yourself. All your nonsense. Um, nonsense. I've sort of got my brain deteriorating. In like five years, I'm not even able to make a coherent sentence. Well, that means I've got some brain disease, but. Get some HP while we're here. But either way, everyone, we are out of time for this episode, not the stream. And I will see you all in the next video. Dig fig out! Every time, outro is different. It's supposed to do the watch all my content front to back. Subscribe, thumbs up, all that fun stuff. Click on the cards, they're around here. It's, it's nonsense sometimes. Thank y'all.